wow i'm having issues with my phone today so i have to use my ipad oh crazy issues on my phone but it is what it is but the pond doesn't look like it got an issue because it has a lot of water in there and it's filled to the rim filled to the rim the pond is filled to the rims and the ducks are in the shade because that summer sun is clicking that summer sun is clicking you know what i'm saying summer sun is here it's it's it's, a, it's, it's that time you know that heat can't handle the heat get out the kitchen you know what i'm saying oh get out of uh, Bradenton, florida or get out of florida period all right cop topic of the message all right i am talking about about teaching the truth you know what i'm saying and you know it's really a simple rule to understand about teaching the truth is just unfortunately religious people a religious system complicated the aspects of truth i mean i don't know why you know it's sad you know if jesus fooled around with religious leaders that complicated the idea of the torah you know what I'm saying? And use their positions for power for people to exalt them. You know what I'm saying? And if Jesus said that, you know, it's going to, that's what a religious system is all about. And we unfortunately now have another religious system that is uh, hindering people to understand what they need to understand in order to truly be a Christian is that, you know, many Christians need to wake up to this reality that we are not getting the right instructions that we really need to be more like Jesus Christ. I mean, I just say, you know, let Matthew, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John teach you about Jesus Christ and let the letters, you know, of the gospel teach you about Jesus Christ and not so much of these men and women of God out there. Unfortunately, I say, listen, but as what Paul say, study to show their self approved that their word of God, I mean, the word that they're giving you is of God and of scripture. And it's showing the pattern of really the ideal view of a Christian. Like I, you know, King, uh, uh, Peter put out there first, Peter, you know, four, uh, 16 talks about if any man suffer as a Christian. Now, is a teacher or a preacher helping you understand that you must suffer as a Christian and can uh, of course the beatitudes you know that Matthew 5 uh, can that show you that you have to suffer and you have to go through persecution for the sake of the kingdom of heaven let the word of God speak for itself but if they're not conveying that ideal message to you concerning of Christianity, you need to examine their teachings and the direction that they're going to. Because if we truly going to be more like Jesus Christ, we have to follow the instructions what Jesus Christ has given us through him and his apostles that he has, uh, you know, have raised up. But I want to talk about this idea of the truth, you know, be. The, the reality of teach, teach me. Uh, see, this is kind of like, you know, uh, King David has in um, Matt, uh, Psalms 51 and 6. It says, I desire the truth. And desire, he's saying the desire and the truth made him to know wisdom. Because he desired the truth, it gave him wisdom. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, the ideal of that is that if he does now, if he desires the truth, then how is he going to get the truth? You know what I'm saying? It's like if I desire some water right now, how am I going to go get some water? I have to go to a place that has water to go get some water. I mean, water is not going to come right to me. You know what I'm saying? If I desire water right now, it's not going to come to me in reality. But I have to go, what Jesus says, ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the doors will be open to you. 
I have to seek out third inch. So the de thing is, King David says, I desire the truth. And because I desired and I saw out the truth, I found I was gaining the ideal of wisdom in seeing how I'm supposed to see life correctly, pretty much. Um, is what the idea of, of if anybody going to be about desiring the truth is that I want to see life in a correct position, the correct way of doing something so I don't uh, make mistakes going in incorrect way. You know what I'm saying? That should be a reason for anybody to have a desire for truth. It's not because I live right all my life. It's not, see, it's not because I live perfect. You know, every, that's what, you know, unfortunately, a lot of, you know, sinners, uh, people in darkness got that viewpoint of, okay, I'm not going to seek out the, the truth. I'm just going to, you know, uh, keep doing this darkness because that's what I desire to do darkness. No, that's not the reason why you're supposed to seek out the truth. You want to seek out the, the truth because you want to find a correct way of doing something because you're sick and tired of the incorrect uh, way that is hurting you and hurting others around you and hindering you to serve, serve a true purpose is what the reason why you are supposed to have a desire to want to be taught truth even though you don't have the ability within your flesh to perform it. You should still have a desire for truth, even though you, you may not want to do it. But the thing is, the truth is supposed to be about an ideal desire of I want to at least see at least see something that may be a correct ideal of doing things. It may not be one. You know what I'm saying? It's what you have to be optimistic of really wanting to listen and you know and that's why i was talking about concerning meekness meekness is a person that under, has a low mind mindset to understand that i am here to learn about an earth that i'm living in that i did not create myself that i did not create any rules in this world so i have to learn how this world functions and how th how the people in the world are you know what I'm saying? And how, you know, uh, things work in spiritually and naturally. You know what I'm saying? That's what's supposed to be a correct view that a person is supposed to be seeing from if they really want to find truth. You know what I'm saying? Real truth. Not, you know, made up, made up false truth that this world system wants you to desire lies and you know that you become a fool you know what i'm saying it's what unfortunately people too many people are on that mindset that they desire lies to make them become a fool now it, now here's what the idea why you got to uh desire truth because as what jesus said the truth is supposed to set you free you know what i'm saying or make you free you know the truth now those that truly want freedom in their life and here's the thing what when jesus is saying he's he's not talking about just freedom he's talking about spiritual freedom and that is important to understand spiritual freedom uh, from natural freedom now as what you know the ideal of i want to use is like the children of israel the children of Israel, when they were, uh, when Pharaoh set them free, naturally they got free. They start walking out of Egypt. You know what I'm saying? Er, the, uh, Moses and the children of Israel is walking out of Egypt. They're free. You know what I'm saying? They're free to uh, go, go, go to their destination. Destination. Naturally, they're free. But spiritually, were they free? You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, they wasn't, you know, free, spiritually free from Egypt in many ways. I, can, I don't know if I want to go deep on it, but the thing is, 
they now they got let I just want to talk about the Red Sea, you know what I'm saying? Like they was at the Red Sea, they were trapped at the Red Sea, and then God, you know, told Moses to stretch out his arm rod, and then bam, the sea departed. A spiritual act, you know what I'm saying, happened, and the sea departed, and the children of Israel crossed the Red Sea, and then all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying, the uh, armies of uh, Pharaoh army came behind them, and then bam, the sea collapsed upon them and drowned all of them that was a spiritual uh freedom in my terms term of what i want to put it right now because it's really but the spiritual freedom another act of spiritual freedom when god laid down his um ten commandments to the children of israel but this, you know this moron wants to convince people to create a golden cow and then he created a golden cow and worship the God before his God. And what happened was Moses came back, bam, he dropped the Ten Commandments, I mean the tablets, and they would worship the golden calf. And the Bible says that God opened up uh, the ground and swallowed all those people, you know, underneath the um, ground is what, you know, an uh, ideal of, you know, as what my brother said one time in the message that you could take the, you could get them out of Egypt, but you got to get the Egypt out of them. Hope you got that. The, the ways of Egypt, they learned ways of Egypt that is contrary to God's word. And the thing is, the problem is those people, because they lived in the ways of Egypt for a long time, they thought the ways of Egypt was true. You know what I'm saying? But you know, unfortunately, thousands of people had to find out the hard way that they're false by putting, being, how you doing? By being sunk under the ground, that you do not serve no other God before him. You know what I'm saying? Is what, unfortunately, the tragedy that happened to those people. You know what I'm saying? That here's the thing about truth. Truth is supposed to help you understand or, or know. Truth is truth. Now, truth and wisdom go hand in hand. And what I love about how truth and wisdom go hand in hand, it's supposed to help you prevent you to not go the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? See, watch this. I think uh, truth is supposed to tell you that this is right. Wisdom is supposed to prevent you to do what's right and not do what's wrong, or more likely do what's right and not do what's foolish you know what i'm saying is what wisdom but truth is like this is truth is the sun is shining you know what i'm saying you know the truth is the sun is shining right but wisdom is describing it, the temperature uh, or uh, how much light is given to concerning the sun you know what i'm saying and 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 and, and gives you the details of it because of the sun is shining this is what i need to do if i need shades if my eyes can't handle too much sun i need to put on shades if you know uh if i you know might get a tan or sunburn i need to put on you know sunblock you know what i'm saying concerning the individual uh it will give you instructions because of what the sun is shining i hope you got that that's what wisdom is it gives you reasons to prevent you concerning of an idea that is true because the truth is the sun is shining you know what i'm saying it, the truth ain't going to change you know the sun is not going to just disappear and then it turns dark you know what i'm saying it's not going to go somewhere else and, and it's and then not come back no the truth is the truth is the sun is going to stay there until dark comes see that law that i keep wanting to tell people is how truth functions and the thing is when we understand that that is the is how ideal of life it that we need to understand how things are we will want to desire truth even though we are not even have a desire to follow it we will to want to desire the laws the information of what truth is all about to get the details that wisdom will give you the details of what you need to understand concerning truth. 
know what I'm saying? So you will lean towards to make your decision. Say, well, I want to do something wise or I want to do something foolish. You know what I'm saying? Concerning something that is supposed to lead to either freedom or it leads to bondage. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it is, you can't have free bondage. You know what I'm saying? There's, well, but unfortunately for people, they you will create within your mindset or unfortunately concerning your desires that idea that I can be free in bondage at the same time. Have a good day, man. Is what unfortunately people's mindset in this world, Satan has deceived people that they can, you know, live in sin. Sin is supposed to be something of bondage and they can live uh, save uh, living unto God concerning freedom. And that uh, unfortunately mindset is where a mindset of confusion that as what it says, God is not the author of confusion. He's not trying to confuse nobody concerning the direction that they need to go. The Bible clearly shows the truth the, Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life, the way to go. But as what Jesus said and put it out there in Matthew uh, 7 and uh, 13 and 14, broad is the gate, many shall go, shall lead to destruction. You know what I'm saying? Broad is straight and narrow is, is the gate that will find life. I mean, there, there is life, but few will find it. That is, he showed you the uh, really the uh, situation that, you need to perceive concerning where you living and the world you living in and the time period you living in that you need to understand the unfortunately the mass majority will follow the broad gate and you need to be finding finding this the broad gate because the broad gate looks like where the place of bondage is at the broad gate is where the place of bondage is at you know what i'm saying that that is leading into destruction but this straight and narrow wherever this gate is it's leading to freedom. It's leading to freedom, but unfortunately, a few people will be about the freedom. Is what Jesus put out there for those to see, to understand. If they truly want the truth to set them free, it's out there. But if they want to, you want to ignore the ideal. How you doing, man? If you want to ignore the ideal of that situation concerning your desires in your heart that you love the things of this world or love the people in the world, you know what I'm saying? And want to uh, go their direction. Um, you are in the, have automatically put yourself in the broad gate direction. You know what I'm saying? Is what, you know, you need to understand about uh, the situation. But the thing is that you, if you want to be in bondage, you don't desire to be taught the truth. You know what I'm saying? You you won't have a desire to be taught the truth. But the truth will always be for you. You know what I'm saying, sinners? The truth is going to be always for you. Just because you can't see it spiritually or want to desire spiritually, the truth will always be before you. You know what I'm saying? It's what you need to understand concerning a being free. You know what I'm saying? And experiencing true spiritual freedom freedom of truly being what you were created to be genesis 1 26 made in the image in the likeness of god that is the truth that everybody is created for god to dwell in them but if they choose to desire a opposite direction that you know is is is, is about lies you know what i'm saying they can go that direction as what it says in i believe deuteronomy uh, 30 and 19 that he has given unto us blessings and curses d life and death you know what i'm saying it's put before everybody to see and to go that direction but those that truly want to question to be about finding the truth you know in the world that you know this influence so much lies because as what it says in second Corinthians 4, the God of this world, blind the minds of men concerning pretty much the desires of our heart based upon the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life, is people are going a ways of lies. You know what I'm saying? This world is about as Romans 3, 4, God be true, every man a liar. This system is about 
lies that leads to demise and slavery. You know what I'm saying? Is what the problem that you need to perceive if you want to say, I do not want to be in lie, live a lie in bondage. I want the truth to set me free from it. It's what you should pray and ask God to give you. But understand that when you want the truth, you have to humble your heart. I mean, you have to humble your heart and become meek. And meek, the opposite of meek, is being high-minded. And unfortunately, this world system is about uh, teaching you that it's okay to be high-minded. And it's okay to think that you know better than everybody else. You know what I'm saying? You know more than everybody else. This world system wants you to think that you can think this way. And because you think you know everybody else, that you have a sense of truth is what the deception of too many people have these days, which is the ideal of the carnal mind um, that leads to death. And as you know, and look around you and look at your news and look at your environment, there's a lot of deaths happening. That is the end result of people believing in that ideal notion that they can create their own truth and they think the truth is going to see the truth is going to set them free but what i'm what i love what jesus put out there he says well the truth will set you free well someone somebody tell you something and they say this is the truth this is the truth the question you need to ask them is uh can that truth make people free you know what i'm saying can your truth make people free and experience true freedom in their life you know what i'm saying uh is what you need to question and not accept whatever everybody else say concerning that they say is something of the truth. When you know that, you know, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, that he's supposed to be the altar. Well, he's, Jesus has declared that he is the, that means only, only, only truth. You know what I'm saying? Is what people need to understand that there's no other truth but the truth is what Jesus has declared. But if someone wants to think that they can create an ideal of truth and and say that deem is truth and it's not set nobody free, but keeping more people in bondage is just more lies that Satan is keeping people in their demise is the problem is what's going on in people's lives these days. All right, that's the message. Hope you got it. Hope it makes sense to you. To God be the glory. How you doing? To God be the glory of him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.